guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to bio body and in this video we will be moving forward with part 2 of the animal kingdom right if you guys haven't watched the part 1 of this chapter do watch it because in that we have all uh, done the introduction part right about kingdom kingdom animalia about the sub kingdom parasaur sub kingdom eumetazoa and about the various phylums right so if you haven't watched it please go watch it and then we can come back to part number 2 do not skip part number 1 it is very very important right now let's get started with the basis of classification what do you mean by basis of classification so in part 1 beta we had studied that what is the need to classify right what is the need to classify hum kyun karte hain classification right so the answer was that to make our task easier there is a variety there is a so much diversity of living organisms that if we do not classify them we won't be able to understand the features of any of it right so the better part is that we need to classify them into groups it will make our job easier and it will be less time consuming right now what is the basis of classification understand this term understand this line This means basis of classification. That means किस basis पे हम classify कर रहे हैं? On what criteria are we classifying? For example, if I am a teacher and I have a group of forty children, right? I have students of I have a total forty students in my class, and I have been told that I have to assign them into four groups, right? So my criteria can be anything based on creativity, based on knowledge, based on marks, based on sports activities. these are various criteria on the basis of which i can classify right but what is my basis of classification if i wish to classify them i am classifying them on the basis of their marks right so i can make four groups 90 to 100 right out of total marks is 100 and i make a group group number a is of 90 to 100 marks group number b will be of 80 to 90 marks group number c 70 to 80 marks and group number d 60 to 70 marks like this 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100. Four groups I have made. So what is the criteria on which I am making these groups? The criteria is marks, right? So somehow in animal kingdom also, beta, or you can say kingdom animalia, what happens is classification can be done on various factors, right? Like level of organization, there will be germ layers, body plan, stilo. symmetry segmentation and notochord one by one we will be studying them in detail so no need to worry koi ghabrana nahi hai naam sun ke ki hum dal rahe what is the meaning of this name no in biology i have already told you if there is a difficult word in front of you you need to break up that word into two or three parts and then you you need to summarize the meaning of each and every word you'll get your meaning it is as simple as that nothing to worry about these words one by one we will be studying them in detail right so in this video we will be focusing on level of organization level of organization this means the stages level means stages for example if i am giving you a pyramid 1 2 3 stage number 1 stage number 2 stage number 3 right so these are various level level 1 level 2 level 3 right so in the similar manner beta organization ke levels that means how the organism is being organized from inside what is the level of its organization right for example if i am giving you a book your ncert right i am handing you the ncert i am handing over to you that bit of this is your ncert now tell me how was it formed how is it made you will say that ma'am first alphabets were there or you can see some letters were there like a b c d then letters came together and they formed words right various words they came together and they form a sentence various sentences they came together and they form a paragraph right and paragraphs came together and they form a page pages came together and they form a book in the similar manner beta what happens inside the animal body the first thing is cell right the cell is the smallest unit smallest unit of an organism is known as cell the smallest unit of an organism is known as cell so this cell beta this will 
Further, when many cells are combining, abhi ek cell hai, for example, there is a single cell. When many cells like these, they will come together, for example, they will pile up like this. When many cells will come together, they will form a tissue. Right? They will form a tissue. Later on, this tissue will come together. Many tissues performing the similar function. They will come together and they will form organ. Right? They will form organ. Now what will happen? Various organs will come together and they form organ system. They will form organ system. And when organ systems will form together, they will come together, it will eventually lead to the formation of an organism. Like human being belong. Right? We are what? We are organisms. What is the scientific name of human beings? It is homo sapiens. Right? So we are also a type of organism. How are we being formed? We human beings. We are a type of organism. We are also being we are also being formed of the organ system. Right? Organ system kya hota hai bita? Digestive system, circulatory system, respiratory system, reproductive system, excretory system. So many systems are there in our body. Right? So when many of these organ systems, they are coming together. Hamari ek hi body hai. In this body only, all these systems which I just named, they are all present together. They are all performing together. Right? So that is why the organ system. Now, the organ systems kis se bante hai? But a whole digestive system is formed from what? Stomach, right? L -l large intestine, small intestine, liver, pancreas. Ye kya hai? Kis me aane? These are coming in the, these are the organs which are forming the organ system. Which organ system? Digestive system. Ye mein aapko break up bata hai. You don't have to learn on this. This is just an example. Okay? Then, if I talk about liver, liver is an organ. Liver is formed from which cell? Which, which tissues? Hepatocyte cells. When these hepatocyte cells come together, they form hepatic tissue. Hepatocyte cells. A cell, I suppose, hepatocyte cell. When many hepatocyte cells will come together, it will form tissue. Which tissue? Hepatic tissue. Then hepatic tissue will come together and it will form an organ. Which organ? Liver. Liver will combine with pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, stomach and it will form organ system. Which organ system? Digestive system. And then organ systems like the digestive system, circulatory system, excretory system, all these will come together and they form organism. Right? Kitane organ systems hai? Kya sare ek hi kaam kar rahe? Are they all doing a single task? Right? No. Every digestive system, or uh, sorry, every system in your body, that means digestive system is doing the function of digestion. Excretory system is doing the function of excretion. They are performing their own tasks. They are not performing a single task. They are performing their own tasks. That is the reason your body is functioning properly. Right? What is the reason? Because these organ systems, they have been given their own tasks and they have to do. That means they are having a good division of labor division of labor this term you must have heard many times what is the meaning of this term division of labor division means batwara right you are put, you're dividing a particular task into eventually 14 or 15 people up give agar for example you're the manager of your office okay you're having a group of 14 15 people and you have to assign them a project and you have to get it completed in two days or three days maximum Fine. So, you will see that this person, you are giving this task to person number 1. Person number 2 is giving another task. Person number 3, another task. Like this, everybody is assigned different, different tasks. Right? But for example, imagine if 14 people are just chit-chatting, they are not interested in the project and just one person is sitting there and you have been given all the tasks to him only. He is only doing everything. Rest 14 people are there not doing anything. Is that a good division of labor or bad? It is a bad division of labor. Why? Because only one person is targeted and he is doing all the work. In a similar manner, beta, division of labor needs to be done properly. Right? That means the proper division of labor, if it is there, then the organism functions quickly, easily. 
it's fast, it's less time consuming, right? But if division of labor is poor, then what will happen? The phylum will become very poor. For example, Porifera beta. Porifera. Porifera is the most poor phylum. It is the most poor phylum. Why is it the most poor phylum? Because beta, it is made by only cells. Only cells are doing all the function. That means it has a very poor division of labor. It has what? Poor division of labor. Uh, there is light coming in this portion. So please, uh, uh, very sorry for this. So I am just writing poor division of labor here. You can write it down. Right? So polyphenol shows very poor division of labor. Right? So what happens now? In this portion beta, you can see this is increasing time by time. Cells, then the tissues, then forms tissues from organs, organs from organ system, then organism. Right? So in the similar manner beta, division of labor needs to be properly done. If it is poor, then obviously the phylum will be poor. For example, porifera, it has very poor division of labor. It has only cells. It has no tissues, no organs. Only the cells are performing their functions. Right? It is, that is why known as a poor phylum. It has nothing. Nothing at all. Okay? Now, uh, let me just erase this and let me just give you an idea of the tabular form. What you need to write here, beta? Please write this. Now we will be classifying the phylums on the basis of what division of labor they have or what level of organization they have. Okay? How? First mention the cellular level of organization. Okay? Which phylums are having cellular level of organization? So first we will write down that in total there are four level of organization. First is cellular level of level of organization okay this do not write this in your exams please i'm just writing because there is less space cellular level of organization then tissue level of organization then organ level of or uh, organ level of organization <clears throat> then organ system level of organization Okay, so example of cellular level of organization beta, it will be porifera. Tissue level of organization is coelenterata, coelenterata or tenophora, sorry, uh, and coelenterata and tenophora. Coelenterata, the other name of coelenterata is nidaria. So option if you all written all, then Cilent Rita will come with you. If you are giving another example, it will be Tinophora. Then Platyhelminths is the example of organ, organ level of organization. Then organ system level of organization, which one can come with I told you in video number one that you need to memorize the name of the phylums in a sequence. Right? So first comes Cilentrata, then Tinophora, then Platyhelminths, then after that, Nematoda, also called as Ashkihelminths. After Nematoda comes Anelida, Arthropoda. Echinodermata, uh, you can say mollusca comes in between here, mollusca, then echinodermata, then hemichordata, and then last one is chordata. Right? So, this is just a very simple level of organization, guys. Right? In the next video, we will be covering up these two topics, germ layers and body plan and coelom, symmetry, segmentation, whatever is left part, we will be covering it under the next videos. 
So this is very very simple. These you need to memorize and you need to understand what is division of labor. Why why are we you know organizing them on what basis we are classifying them? Then level of organization. What are the levels? What are the stages of organizing them? Right. So very very simple. Right. And now stay tuned for video number three in which we will be moving forward with the basis of classification. If you have any doubt, any problem regarding this video, beta, please put down in the comment section. Any questions, you can put down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help and make sure you are subscribing to my channel, liking my video and sharing as much as possible with your friends and making it useful for you guys. Right? If you have any suggestions, please do comment down. Right? So I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.